I don't, I don't think it's a good, good thing because people have rights and they don't want to work all, all their lifetime. They have time to relax, to leisure, to spend with their children or with their parents. Mm -hmm. So, I think it has a um, retired age to, for people to retire, yeah. She doesn't really answer the question, does she? She thinks I mean people should be forced to work all their lives, whereas I suggested that they should be allowed to. Then there's something else they might have to do speculate about the future. What form does Danilo use to do this? I think it might be popular in the future um, going to a gym or anyway taking uh, doing sports mm -hmm. uh, such as going to um, as I said to a gym or swimming or running. Mm -hmm. Okay so do you think that more and more people will take this up? Yeah, it's already. I think it's already happening now. Um, many people go to um, to a gym before going to work. Maybe in the, in the first uh, in the first morning, about seven o'clock, or after they um, they worked. He uses might. Yes, though that's also the form I use in my question. He might also have used terms like maybe, perhaps, in all probability, what seems likely is, etc. And any other language they should concentrate on? Yes, they need to use signpost words, words which indicate what is ahead or coming, what kind of thing the speaker wishes to say, perhaps reason or result, or an example, or to point out some kind of contrast. Let's listen to Panil. So do you think the quality of life these days is worse than it used to be? Well, the quality of life is definitely better in, in theory because, because now we, we live longer and we don't, uh, we're not as sick uh, as they used to be. If you get a disease now, you can be cured. She uses because. However, this is a very common word, so we're looking for terms like since, as, seeing that, or the reason is. For result, of course, there's so, or so that, or verbs like cause, or lead to. And in this clip, Panil uses some quite advanced vocabulary. Of course, entertainment is a very big industry these days. Um, what kind of um, impact does that have on our lives? Well, um... I think all people are, in some way or another, are um, um, affected by, by the entertainment industry. She uses affected by. Yes, and she could have also used words like impact or influence. Now, in this clip, Daniel introduces an example. Let's take the opposite of leisure, that is work. Um, do you think employers should encourage employees to work overtime or discourage them from doing it? I think that they could be, uh, encourage them, but it depends uh, on the work as well. Because, for example, if I'll do my work or my, during my, my normal hours, so and I'm not able to do everything, and I will be, I, I will do hard work. So then I, I have to, I have to take overtime as well. So I will uh, expect from my boss that uh, he will encourage me, or maybe he will help me. Mm -hmm. Yes, he uses for example, but we can also use such as or for instance. Or. An example is, let's take as an example, etc. You also mentioned contrast. Danilo used whereas earlier to express this. Yes. Um, what does he use here? Do you think that people generally have enough leisure time? No, I personally think that um, nowadays people don't have a lot of free time and they. Um, um, many people are 
workaholic and they prefer to spend their time working. But uh, in the other hand, there are other people who like to to have more leisure time, but they can't because they um, they have they have a lot of fees to pay. Mm -hmm. So they spend more time working rather than having free time. On the other hand, except he said in the other hand. Exactly. Something else, although we haven't got any examples, is to outline your response. For example, there are two things I can say about this. It might be helpful to watch a whole interview now. Well, here's Boya. As you watch, think about those general criteria, fluency and coherence, vocabulary, grammatical accuracy and range, and pronunciation. To take the last point, how does she pronounce the word busy, B-U-S-Y, in part two? Does she make an effective use of stress and intonation? But, above all, is she clear enough? In part one, are her responses extended enough or too brief? Does she use fillers to give herself time to think? Yes, and in part two, does she continue as confidently as she started? Also, maintaining eye contact is very important. Not staring at the examiner, but glancing towards him on keywords which she wishes to stress. And in part three, I'll look out for how she expresses her opinion or compares and contrasts, speculates or hypothesizes. And don't forget the use of signposting. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is um, Ronald Barnicott. Can you give me your full name, please? My full name is Boya Liu. I see. And uh, what can I call you? Um, you can call me Boya. Uh -huh. And where do you come from? I come from China. Well, I'm going to start by asking you some questions about yourself. Okay. Um, first of all, about your studies. What are you studying? Uh, now I'm studying Diplomat Foundation Studies in Metropolitan University. Mm -hmm. And um, what do you intend to study at Metropolitan University in future? Um, probably media. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that subject? Because um, I wanted to because I like to be a producer in the future and to do some programs for people. Okay. Um, what do you find most interesting about your subject? Um, I think is produce programs, mm. the process when, when I do it. And I think I can find some interesting things in it. Um, do you enjoy being a student? Yeah. Is there anything that you don't like in your studies? Oh, homework. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on to talk about newspapers and magazines. Okay. Um, which newspapers and magazines do you read? You mean in English or Chinese? In or? English. Okay. In English, um, when I stay in London, probably read Metro because it's free. Mm -hmm. And I can take it from the tube. Which part of a newspaper do you turn to first? Um, probably entertainment. Why? Because I don't like to be something very political things. Mm -hmm. I want to see something very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any part of a newspaper that you don't read? Um, things about politics. I see. Okay, let's move on to music. Um, yeah. Do you play a musical instrument? Yeah. What, what do you play? Um, piano. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. What is your favorite kind of music? Um, all kinds, if I like it. I think it's all beautiful music, and, but especially as classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what kinds of music are...